May everyone please stand for the posting of the colors and the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. You may now be seated. Welcome, families, friends, and fellow students of H. Grady Spurs, class of 2016. We ask that you treat this graduation ceremony with the utmost respect. Every graduate deserves to hear his or her name announced. Please refrain from using any noisemakers, horns, bells, yells, or any other distractors that are not conducive to maintaining the dignity and grandeur of this event. We ask that you hold your applause and congratulatory yells until all names have been called so that the next name called can be clearly heard. Your assistance will help provide every be the very best graduation for each student. Thank you in advance for your cooperation to ensure a dignified graduation ceremony. Se le pide que trate esta ceremonia con el máximo respeto posible. Cada estudiante que se gradúa merece escuchar su nombre cuando es anunciado. Se le pide abstenerse de utilizar cornetas, bocinas de aire, campanas, gritos o cualquier otro objeto o gestos distractores que no sean apropiados para mantener la dignidad y grandeza de este evento. Le pedimos que contenga sus aplausos y gritos felici felicitaciones hasta después de que todos los nombres hayan sido anunciados. De esta manera, el siguiente nombre podrá ser escuchado claramente. Su cooperación nos ayudará a proporcionar la mejor ceremonia de graduación para cada estudiante. Gracias de antemano por su cooperación en garantizar una digna ceremonia de graduación. Thank you. As the principal of H. Grady Spruce High School, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome our friends, our families, our illustrious guests, Mr. Jaime Resendez, school board member, Stephanie Elizalde, chief of school leadership, and Brian Lusk, our executive director for the H. Grady Spruce Theater Pattern. We have come together today to celebrate the class of 2016. This has been an important year in the history of H. Grady Spruce High School. This year, we opened the first career and technology education, early college high school, and all of Dallas ISD. We define six distinct pathways to college career ready jobs and the military, including our early college high school, our nationally accredited Academy of Finance, our nationally accredited Academy of Engineering, and our nationally accredited Academy of Information Technology set to open next year. In addition, we have an award winning fine arts pathway and a nationally recognized auto collision repair. What I am most proud of, however, 
is this year's graduating class. Last year, 250 seniors graduated, or about 86% of the class. This year, we have 264 graduates, or 92% of the senior class. I am confident that the students sitting in front of you are equipped and empowered to go out into their world and make it a better place. I am so proud of each and every one of you, and I can't wait to see that this is not an end, but only a beginning. Congratulations. Class of 2016, faculty, staff, and loved ones, today is the day we have been waiting for, a day filled with both joy and sorrow. We will all move on to a new chapter in our lives and confront the fear of the unknown. We will also embrace the excitement of a new beginning. This journey was not an easy one. We have experienced countless challenges and struggles, as well as many wonderful encounters. This made our high school years memorable. But at Spruce, there never was a dull moment. Four years ago, we entered Spruce as small, innocent freshmen, entering a new school and having to get accustomed to the new surroundings. We were clueless of the conditions we had to face. Like many low-income schools that struggle with poverty, we rarely received the aid that was needed. We have had more than five different principals, we have lost teachers, and we have had to adapt to new ones. There was not a lot of stability in high school. Everything changed year after year. Despite these challenges, we have risen from the ashes like a phoenix. These hardships have taught us to overcome anything that comes our way, and they brought us closer together as a whole. These obstacles have cultivated a spirited will to persevere and achieve greatness in ourselves. Together, we have changed the atmosphere at Spruce. We have shown a dedication and strong will to finish what we have started. Today, 90% of our class is graduating. This is a great accomplishment compared to the years before us. We have proven to be superior and capable of achieving our goals. Moving forward, we will thrive, we will succeed, and we will live. We will live a life of endless opportunities. Our determination, dedication, and diligence will guide us on our journey and be the essence of our triumph. To this, we owe it to our friends, especially those closest to us, teachers, and family for giving us the support and motivation to strive and achieve excellence. They are the ones we have built special and irreversible bonds with. They fed our minds and comforted our souls. To them, I would like to say thank you. For at Spruce, we are not just a school, we are a family. Good afternoon, everyone. Graduating class of 2016. It is an honor and my pleasure to be able to stand here before all of you today and thank you for all the marvelous moments and memories I was able to spend with you. I am so glad that I was able to see you grow, mature, and prepare yourselves for a brighter tomorrow. High school was tough on us, and the struggle and moments seemed like it never ends. We were able to overcome it and I am sure that you are capable of taking on any challenge that you're ever put up against. Our hard work has paid off, but it doesn't end here. There is a much greater world that we don't know of. You will find it hard, you will struggle, but I am sure that you will all be successful. Throughout these years, I've seen you take on challenges and effectively overcoming them. I am sure that when you go out into this world, you will be ready to face any given situation with change. Change is not an option. It's going to happen, and we can't stop it nor choose when it'll happen. But we can choose how we deal with it and overcome it. And by the looks of it, you're all more ready than you ever thought possible. 
Our high school life has taught us to bear with change and always make the best out of it. You all have learned that one of the biggest changes and struggles we were put up against is the shift from childhood to adulthood. But every senior here today has successfully achieved that shift and become amazing adults. It is safe to say that none of us would be here if it weren't for all those important people in our lives. Our families, our teachers, our staff, our peers and friends who encouraged us and guided us to become who we are today. They all helped in creating who we have become and get us to this important stage in our lives. Ever since we began high school, they have been with us through thick and thin, never leaving us alone. And I, along with all the seniors here, will forever thank you. I remember when I first arrived at Spruce. I remember finding change so hard and unbearable at times. I remember how I struggled. But I also remembered how my teachers and my friends came to my rescue and supported me every step of the way. All those amazing beings, my parents, they all encouraged me to try hard and move forward. And thanks to them, I am here standing before you. I am so delighted I had you in all, all of you in my life and that I was able to witness your love and care. If these school years have taught me anything, it is that love, care, family, and friendship are some of the dearest things that can make us stronger and we hold and cherish forever. Seniors, our life isn't over just yet. Today does not mark an end, it marks the beginning, a new beginning towards the rest of our lives. We have come a long way. There is no room for giving up, there is no room for quitting. Y'all have become wonderful adults and I can't wait to see what life has in store for each and every one of you. Our society needs hard workers, people who are willing to take a challenge, and I believe I have all my persevering, hardworking risk takers right here in front of me. Of course, once again, I am so thankful to have met you all, and I will cherish every moment we spend together. I am extremely proud of each and every one of you. Class of 2016, we are in the future, so let's make it a bright one. Thank you and congratulations, Class of 2016.
Mr. Henry Miscellis is a proud product of Dallas ISD schools. He is a newly elected Dallas ISD trustee member, serving District 4. The son of Mexican immigrants, he enlisted in the U.S. Army where he served a total of eight years in the military. He later earned his degree from the University of Texas of Law and certainly maintains a general law practice in the Dallas-Fort Worth metropolitan area. Prior to attending law school, Trustee Resendez obtained degrees from the University of Texas and Eastville Community College. He is also an honor graduate of Skyline High School in the Pleasant Grove community of Dallas, Texas. Please join me in welcoming Trustee Jaime Resendez. Good afternoon, everyone. Buenas tardes a todos. What's up, class of 2016? Good, good. Hello to all of the dedicated parents, staff, and community members who are sharing in this special day. I can't think of a better way to begin my journey as a uh, the new trustee for District 4 than to be here celebrating this uh, special occasion with you all. I'd like to take a moment uh, really quickly to say thank you to Ms. Nancy Bingham, who served um, tremendously as your trustee for 12 years. We appreciate her service. Class of 2016, you did it. Give yourself a hand. <laughs> As you sit here in your caps and gowns, please know that I'm extremely proud of you. You've been working towards this goal for more than a decade, and through it all, you, you persevered and you pushed forward. And many of you have overcome incredible odds to be here, and what an inspiration you are. Um, I, I urge you to approach life with that same determination and drive. It wasn't that long ago that I was sitting in the same seat that y'all are sitting in when I graduated from Skyline. And I stand before you now, proof that you can achieve your dreams. Like many of y'all, I grew up in Pleasant Grove, right off of 175. I'm a first generation Mexican American. I, I went to Julius Dorsey Elementary School. I went to Comstock. I grew up by Spruce and I graduated from Skyline. But um, before I graduated from Skyline, I had to come up with a plan to go to college. I didn't grow up around people with degrees, but the ones I would see on TV were never broke. So I figured that'd be a good route to try to take. But the plan I developed was to join the Army. I was 17 years old when I joined the Army. I ended up serving a total of eight years as an engineer, including a year-long tour of duty in Baghdad, Iraq. And that's the experience that changed my life. Um, I wasn't just in, in Baghdad handing out water. You know, people were dying on the same streets I was on. People were getting shrapnel ripping through their bodies on the same streets I was on on the same day. It just wasn't me. So I came back to Pleasant Grove as a 21-year-old war veteran and with a totally different perspective on life. I remember going to Eastfield and sitting in class thinking, I'm in an air-conditioned classroom, taking notes and reading a book. I said, I can do this. That's when, that's when I became extremely focused on my studies. I began reading every single thing that was assigned. Lo and behold, I started making A's. So I graduated from Eastfield, transferred to UNT, and ultimately graduated from the University of Texas School of Law. So now I'm an attorney, and I'm from Pleasant Grove, just like you all, okay? And uh, so today, anything seems possible, but there will be days ahead when nothing seems possible. And on those days, you must, re you must reach deep within and find the determination to continue. People who get things done never give up. When they fail, they observe, they learn and get up. They make adjustments, not excuses. Michael Jordan once said that I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and miss. I've failed over and over and over again in my life, and that's why I succeed. So that's the key, to never stop trying, stay in the game. Boxing great Muhammad Ali talked about persevering he said that I hated every minute of training, but he said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. Today, he's simply known as the greatest. I share these quotes with you to emphasize that you will face setbacks, discouragement, and trials as you begin the next phase of your life. These men clearly faced opposition, yet they rose to the top of their fields, and so can you. They weren't born at the top, like many of us who grow up in Pleasant Grove. They weren't born great, they grew to be great through hard work and dedication. We're all born with certain abilities, and not everyone will be a basketball star or any other star, but you can be the best you in whatever field you choose. 
and I believe there's greatness in each and every one of you. And I encourage you to never stop pursuing it and never forget where you come from and the people who helped you along the way. So move on from here, spread your wings, chase your dreams, and cling on to hope. But always, always strive to make this world a better place. Thank you, and good luck. As principal of H. Grady Spruce High School, I hereby affirm that each candidate has met all requirements for graduation as determined by the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District. And they are qualified to receive their diplomas or they have otherwise qualified to participate in this graduation ceremony consistent with the laws of the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District. As Chief of School Leadership of the Dallas Independent School District, I am pleased to confirm the certification of the 2016 graduating class of H. Grady Spruce High School. I am pleased to award these diplomas, certifying that these students are graduates of the Dallas Independent School District. Congratulations to the H. Reese Spruce High School Class of 2016. <laughs> Stephanie Moncada. Abigail Ruiz. Alexis Oliveros. Leslie Sanchez. Miguel Sorto. Elsa Isabel Amador Rubio, Natalie Amaya, Edith Delgado, Aldo Diaz, Juanita Angelica Garza, Itzel Gonzalez, Luz Eni Hernandez Chora. Esmeralda Jocelyn Hasso Mendez, Natalie Jimenez, Edinho Lopez, Tatiana Marie Luevanos, Nicholas Mankin, Angel Moreno, Fatima Moreno. Raquel Murillo, Ariela Palacios, Jesus Antonio Palacios, Crystal Quiros Alvarado, Gianni Delfino Ramirez, Francisco Rodriguez Ramos, Gloria Stephanie Rosales, Myra Teresa Sanchez, Nadezhda Marina Sanchez, 
Yesenia Vietis Cuellar, Jennifer Zuniga, Tahir Ozada Ahmed, Ricardo Aguilera, Catherine Alderete Garcia, Hannah Jessica Alvarez Jimenez, Kedril Oshun Anderson, Jefferson Isaias Argueta, Ever Edmar Arias, Saul Kevin Ariaga, Jesus Ayala, Jose Ayala, Jaslyn Bailon, Samuel Alejandro Banales, Jameson Donye Banks, Victor Eduardo Barbosa, Myra Patricia Baron, Shayla Marlin Bazan Tenguma, Enrique Beltran, Jacqueline Benju, Tayona Brown, Jocelyn Caballero, Luis Asiel Calderon, John Caldwell Jr., Juan Ricardo Camarillo, Giselle Campos Vargas, Marina Celeste Cantu, David Carrion, Alejandra Castillo, Armando Castillo Jr., Nancy Cervantes, Terry Lynn Chambers III, Adrian Michelle Charles, Jorge Cisneros, Nancy Claudio, Leonice Colon Gutierrez, Gilberto Compian Jr., Madarius Ladon Counter, Shamari Crothers, Ernesto Davalos, Miriam Suseli Davila, William Davis, Jessica De La Rosa, Antonio Guadalupe De La Torre Jr., Anna Christina De Leon, Alma Marie Delgado, Arajane Dial, Janet Edith Duenas, Ashley Elias, Myra Elizabeth Escalante, John Escobedo, Marvin Espino, Holly Rayanne Farmer, Isabel Favela, Jalexis Ashane Finney, Deadriel Fights, Demontre Rashad Fletcher, Leslie Flores, Nancy Gallardo, Ariana Ruby Gallegos, Adrian Gamez, Astrid Miroslava Gamez, Ava Garcia, Laura Liseth Garcia, Abigail Celeste Garza, Victor Gavilan, Jennifer Gaitan, Kiara Gibson, Cornelius Glosson, Estrella Gomez.
Roberto Gomez Ruelas, Catherine Gonzalez, David Gonzalez Munoz, Daisy Gonzalez, Christian Manuel Granados, Chris Green, Anise Nicole Griffin, Jose Guevara, Lucia Izel Guevara, Carly Gutierrez, Miguel Angel Gutierrez, Leslie Andrea Guzman, Taekwon Deshaun Hamilton, DeAndre Derek Harris, Ronnie Dwayne Hart Jr., Delfino Hernandez, Alisa Marie Hernandez, Evelyn Hernandez, Luis David Hernandez, Luis Gerardo Hernandez, Marbella Hernandez, Maria Hernandez, Nazareth Hernandez, Rosemary Christina Hernandez, Perla Esmeralda, Esmeralda Hernandez Rangel, Alexis Victoria Heston, Akira Heiners, Jarquavis Marquis Hobson, Ricky Holden, Jonathan Oldeen, Patience Hudson, Angel Islas, Dequayan Jackson, Alondra Jacobo. Manuel Jimenez, Gabriela Betty Jimenez, Janisha Lachey King, Kiana King, Jamari Latimore, Ayana Dejanay Leeks, Alondra Paola Ledesma, Eric Linson, Talia Logan, Emmanuel Lopez, Matthew Alexander Luevanos, Violeta Luna, Edgar Macedo, Jesus Macias, Chris Martinez, Crystal Martinez, Danielle Martinez, Josephat Hasil Martinez, Perla Ruby Martinez, Veronica Adelaida Martinez, Jesus Martinez Benitez. Alina Guadalupe Martinez Salcedo, George Mata, Nicholas McCoy, Jordan Michael McDonald, Alex Medrano Jr., Alicia Mejia, Daisy Mejia, Jesus Mendoza, Miguel Angel Mendoza, Brenda Mendoza Nunez, Jessica Miranda Martinez, Maite Molina, Omar Isahi Monjares, Quentin Monk, Brenda Vanessa Montoya, Kimberly Giselle Montoya, 
Leonardo Morales. Jerson Josue Morales Platero. Karina Maureen. Lizbeth Maureen Castro. Zaisha Nasir. Juan Rene Nieve. Fernando Negron. Alondra Yvonne Wynn. Jessica Nicole Oliveros. Jocelyn Osorio. Byron Parker Jr. Juan Perea Lopez. Christian Perez. Jose Perez. Man Manuel Perez. Alondra Karina Pescador. Uriel Piedra. Gilbert Pineda Jr. Evan Paul Presas. Joe Marcus Fuente. Amy Ramirez. Yureli Jacqueline Ramirez. Ulisa Guadalupe Ramirez. Jacoria Lynette Reeves. Alma Rosa Rico. Jesus Alberto Rico. Jessica Rios. Edward Rivas. Takia Roberts. Portia Wynette Rodney. Paul Douglas Roach. Angel Rodriguez. Angie Rodriguez. Jose Emmanuel Rodriguez. Adon Rojas. Stephanie Rojas, Lisa Marie Rojas, Evelyn Romo Paramillo, Jacqueline Janae Roots, Jeremy Kennard Ross, Christian Ruiz, Andrea Salas, Adela Salazar, Michael Salazar, Leander Garcia Saldana Jr., Brenda Michelle Salinas, Jose Francisco Salinas, Jessica Cecilia Salmeron, Marco Antonio Sanchez, Victor Manuel Sanchez. Alexander Sandoval. Alfredo Sandoval Jr. Eric Sandoval. Maricela Sandoval. Antonio Stefan Sanlola. Cynthia Elizabeth Sacedo. Anthony Sears. Myra Segovia, Marco Antonio Sierra Jr., Jesus Silva, Jermaine Joseph Smith Jr., Cynthia Sosa, Kimon Taylor, Talia Renee Thomas, Jonathan Toral, Daniel, Daniel Torres, Jose Antonio Tovar, Sergio Tovar, Vanessa Tovar, Jennifer Suset Vasquez, Oscar Vasquez Jr., Dontavia Vaughn, Isaac Vega, Rebecca Vega 
Reyes. Brenda Velasquez. Marcos Velasquez. Ruby Vielma Castillo. Jennifer Villa. Orlando Villa. Manuel Eduardo Vietas. Drew Cal Washington. Jalisa Darlene Wells. Desmond Williams. Isaiah Williams. Chanel Desiree Wright. Francisco Javier Zamora. Celeste Lopez Zavala. Daisy Zuniga. Alfonso Rodriguez Jr. Graduates, please stand. I hereby declare you 2016 graduates of H. Grady Spruce High School. Please turn your tassels from the right to the left. <laughs> 